Yuna, how many sunflowers are there in total? Hmm, is it six sunflowers? You're so close, Yuna. Let's try again. Hi, I'm Yuna, the unicorn. Come learn along with me and Super Teacher. Super Teacher! Hi, Yuna. I thought it would be fun if you had a little play date with my friend Maya, where you can practice addition together. I'll be back later to check in. Hi, Yuna. I'm excited to spend time with you today. And so is my dog, Nugget. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's just a friendly pig to help us do math today. We'll see him later in some of our math problems. Okay, let's get started. There were two seahorses, and then one more came to join them. So the total number of seahorses is 2 plus 1. To figure out 2 plus 1, we can count all of the seahorses together. Yuna, how many seahorses are there in total? Um, is it 4 seahorses? Almost, let's try again. Yuna, how many seahorses are there in total? Oh, there's 3 seahorses. Correct! So 2 plus 1 equals 3. Our next story problem takes place in a garden. Jack planted three sunflowers, and he liked them so much he planted two more. So the total number of sunflowers is 3 plus 2. To figure out 3 plus 2, we can count all of the sunflowers together. Yuna, how many sunflowers are there in total? Hmm, is it six sunflowers? You're so close, Yuna. Let's try again. Yuna, how many sunflowers are there in total? Take your time. Oh, there's five sunflowers now. Fantastic! This means that three plus two equals five. Awesome! Our next story problem takes place at the beach. Yay! Michelle and Lily made five sandcastles. And then after lunch, they made one more sandcastle. So the total number of sandcastles is five plus one. To figure out 5 plus 1, we can count all of the sandcastles together. Yuna, do you know what 5 plus 1 equals? Take your time. I think it's 6 sandcastles. Super! It's 6! This means that Michelle and Lily made 6 sandcastles in total. Woohoo! Nice work! Nugget, how do you think Yuna is doing? <laughs> Nugget, not so loud or you'll scare away the birds. Sometimes birds come to visit, but we gotta be quiet. Let's head away from the fence and see if some birds come to visit us. Oh, look at that. There are four birds sitting on the fence. But look! Two more birds joined the others. So the total number of birds is four plus two. To figure out 4 plus 2, we just need to count the birds. Yuna, do you know what 4 plus 2 equals? Take your time. Whoa, it equals 6 birds. Spectacular! So that means there are 6 birds on the fence altogether. Congratulations! You've earned the Bird Award for adding with birds. Our next story problems take place on a farm, but we're gonna do something different this time. I wanna see if you can do addition problems without the pictures. So you might have to use your imagination. Yuna, can you use your imagination today? I can do it. I have a big imagination. Let's give it a try, and if you get stuck, I can help you out. There was one chicken on a farm. But then two more chickens came to stay. We can add 1 plus 2 to find the total number of chickens. Yuna, do you know what 1 plus 2 is? Take your time. I think it's three chickens. Exactly. That means there were three chickens in total. You're doing great. Let's try another. There were three cows on a farm. 
But then one more cow came to visit. To find the total number of cows, we can add 3 plus 1. Yuna, do you know what 3 plus 1 is? Take your time. I know that one. It's four cows. Fantastic. So there are four cows in total. Congratulations. You've earned the cow award for adding with cows. Okay, I got one more for you to try and then we're done. There were three pigs on a farm. But then three more pigs came to visit. To find the total number of pigs, we can add 3 plus 3. Yuna, do you know what 3 plus 3 is? Take your time. Hmm, is it 6 pigs? Spectacular! So there are 6 pigs in total. Yuna, you did a really great job at using your imagination today. I'm really proud of you. Remember, you'll have some practice pages you can work on later. Just nicely ask someone at home to print them for you. The next lesson is called Addition Up to 7. We'll do story problems involving teddy bears and frogs. I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you for learning along with me. You can take this super teacher lesson yourself, or hundreds of other lessons in reading, math, and more. Here's one of my other friends doing a super teacher lesson all on their own. That's funny. Two, stop dancing and get back here. Lily, where is the two supposed to go? Under the five and the seven. What was so funny? The two was dancing on the side of the one's column. I was like this. <laughs> Check out superteacherapp.com or download the app to get started yourself. Like and subscribe to the Super Teacher channel so you can watch more lessons with me. Can't wait to learn more together.